Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Bernie here again, aka Small Rails. Um, just going to do episode 2 of the my O gauge or 7mm scale um, micro layout. Okay, so um, those of you that have um, watched the first video, which I must commend, has performed amazingly well after having a bit of a low period for the channel where views and subscribers have had dramatically dropped um, I've actually got an extra 12 subscribers from that video and heading towards 400 views at the time of filming this um, so I'm very grateful um, to all my loyal supporters and new subscribers all right, uh, yeah, n not a great deal done. Um, the main scenic board has actually been um, cut down a little, so we might just get the tape measure. Um, come back in a second, and I'll give you the dimensions. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's just slightly over 90 centimetres. So, um, I made quite a few mistakes with this. Um, probably, um, I'm guilty of not pre, uh, doing proper planning, uh, or good enough planning before I actually started the build process, but, um, yeah, still having fun and learning as I go, and new scale and gauge is um, putting me a bit outside of my comfort zone but in a good way so yeah the reason why I haven't done a great deal um, I've been rethinking certain parts of the layout and also had some really helpful comments regarding the transversa so the original plan was just to have the tray sliding um, on the plywood um, end part of the layout but yeah it, it wasn't going to work exactly so I've been experimenting with some uh, draw runners these ones you can see here um, I'm not sure if I'm totally happy so I may try another brand or another style but um, I'll persevere for the time being um, so the plan here is I've got to I want to um, actually build self-contained. Sorry, guys, back again. Uh, work phone just rang. Uh, okay, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, so back to the transversa. So um, going to build a proper clip-on self-contained transversa. So. Uh, the ply base you can see is this temporary it's a bit of scrap. I'm just um, experimenting. Let's see, you slide it along like that. So, uh, it's just come off. They were only just sitting on there. So yeah, I'm going to draw up some designs there. Um, and then I, I may just use tracks on one side. Um, and that'll keep transverse is square and lining up so yeah so this is actually slowing me down a bit um hopefully but before episode three i've bought some um, slightly larger gauge wire to handle the current and maybe what have you of the, the bigger o gauge locomotives so i'm going to wire these tracks on the board uh, in the next day or so um and the plan will be to um, have the transverse also wide and connected to the bus but um, obviously you have to work out a, a plug-in connection so um, so for transportation being uh, bigger and bulkier um, it's going to have to be a modular layout so um, I'm already starting to think about um, module number two which will butt off butt on to the end of that um, so initially um, I'm going to get 
this scenic section to a um, a point where I'm happy with and scenic and then the there's going to be a passenger station up the back um, I've just got to get another length or two of flexi so that'll run to the end of the board uh, that bit of pine is going to form the um, the guts of the platform but the fronts and sides and uh, sloped ends to the platform are going to be made with modeling clay uh, to simulate some brick or stone so so that'll be all quite hidden but yeah so for a while that'll sort of be a terminus it may even stay um, a terminus and it'll just be uh, freight tracks or storage tracks that go on to the next section We'll just have to see there so so yeah um having fun but yeah i must say the i've never built a transversa before and yeah limited space limited budget i'm just trying to um do a good job but um uh, within the constraints i have so so yeah more good stuff to come um I think I'll leave it about here. I'll try and release at least one update video every week. Um, and the next one we'll hopefully have it wide and the transverse are working. And we'll actually test the class 15 on the layout. Um, which is now DCC chipped and ready to go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for the patience. Um, more good stuff to come, I promise. Bye for now.